Every year, drone technology inches closer to achieving what once felt impossible. And 2025 may be the moment that ultralight drones break another barrier. DJI is preparing to unveil the Mini 5 Pro, the successor to the Mini 4 Pro, and enthusiasts are wondering whether this compact flyer will redefine the category. But how much of this is grounded in fact and how much is rumored? That's the central question surrounding the upcoming release. To understand where the Mini 5 Pro fits, it's worth looking at its design changes, rumored performance, feature upgrades, and the anticipated release date and pricing strategy. On the surface, the Mini 5 Pro is expected to keep DJI's now iconic foldable design. The company has refined this form factor since the original Mini, and no radical redesign seems necessary. However, small but meaningful changes are likely to differentiate it from its predecessor. Leaked promotional images suggest a familiar pale gray body with subtle markings, including the Mini 5 Pro logo on the arm. The overall shape mirrors the Mini 4 Pro, but eagle-eyed observers noted additional front-facing elements. These extra black dots could represent LiDAR modules or additional optical sensors, giving the drone a slightly more futuristic look without compromising its portability. Another visual shift is the motor design. Photos circulating online show vented motors, which would imply an internal cooling system for higher efficiency and possibly stronger thrust. This would allow the drone to handle higher winds and maintain stable footage even in less than ideal conditions. Importantly, DJI will still prioritize keeping the takeoff weight under 249 grams when using the standard battery. This has been a hallmark of the mini series and remains essential for drone hobbyists in markets like the US and EU, where registration rules change above that threshold. A subtle but interesting rumor is the presence of a new button on the top of the Mini 5 Pro's body. Theories range from a quick power switch to a standalone takeoff feature that could work without pairing the controller first. While not confirmed, such a feature would cater to spontaneous content creators who want to get airborne in seconds. DJI appears to be leaning into usability enhancements rather than wholesale design changes, ensuring the Mini 5 Pro remains instantly recognizable while adding refinements that set it apart. Performance has always been the balancing act for ultralight drones. The Mini 4 Pro already surprised pilots with its stability and upgraded O4 transmission system, but the Mini 5 Pro is expected to push further. Reports indicate that DJI could debut OcuSync 5.0 enabling transmission up to 25 kilometers under FCC standards. While real-world flying will still be limited by line-of-sight regulations, the real advantage is stronger connectivity in interference-prone environments like cities. Flight endurance is another headline claim. A leaked promotional poster listed 50 minutos batteria, hinting that the plus battery option will break the 50-minute mark. For context, the Mini 4 Pro topped out at 45 minutes with its plus battery and roughly 34 minutes on standard power. If the Mini 5 Pro manages 38 to 40 minutes on its lighter pack, DJI will have made a significant stride while keeping it under the 249 gram cutoff. These gains are likely the result of efficiency improvements from the vented motors and lighter materials. Control responsiveness is also expected to improve. If DJI pairs the Mini 5 Pro with a new RC unit optimized for O5 transmission, pilots could experience reduced latency and sharper video streaming. For action sequences or tracking fast-moving subjects, this is not a small upgrade. Combined with stronger propulsion, the drone may fly more confidently in sport mode, potentially increasing top speeds while retaining smooth maneuverability. The defining feature of the Mini 5 Pro will likely be its 1-inch sensor camera. The Mini 4 Pro already delivered impressive 48 megapixel stills with its one 1.3-inch sensor, but moving up to a 1-inch format dramatically increases light intake. This means better performance in challenging lighting, more natural shallow depth of field, and cleaner results in night or low contrast settings. DJI has used this sensor size before on the Air 2S, and its image quality rivaled much larger drones. Video improvements are also on the horizon, Rumors suggest the Mini 5 Pro could handle 5.4K recording at 30 frames per second, while maintaining 4K at higher frame rates such as 
60 or even 120 frames per second for slow motion capture. For social media creators, true vertical shooting will once again be supported, but this time paired with an upward tilting gimbal capable of rotating at wider angles than before. This means creators can capture architectural perspectives, bridges, or trees from directly beneath, something no previous mini managed. Obstacle avoidance may see the most transformative change. Unlike the Mini 4 Pro's purely vision-based system, the Mini 5 Pro is rumored to incorporate LiDAR. LiDAR's advantage is its independence from ambient light. It can detect obstacles in darkness, fog, or cluttered environments where cameras struggle. This makes autonomous features such as Active Track more reliable, allowing the drone to follow subjects with fewer collisions or interruptions. Early leaks suggest the system could debut alongside an upgraded AI-driven Active Track version, possibly 6.0, to improve predictive pathfinding. As for the drone itself, estimates place the launch price between $849 and $899 for the standard combo with the RCN2 controller. This would be slightly higher than the Mini 4 Pro's $759 starting tag, justified by the camera upgrade and LiDAR integration. The Fly More combo, which typically includes two extra batteries, a charging hub, and a carrying case, could easily cross $1,000 depending on the controller included. This pricing strategy keeps the Mini 5 Pro positioned below the Air 3 but comfortably above entry-level offerings. Release timing is another point of speculation. Multiple reports point toward a September 16, 2025 launch date, lining up with DJI's typical fall release cycle. Retailers were briefly spotted preparing product listings earlier than intended, adding credibility to this timeline. While nothing is officially confirmed, the consistency across leaks and insider commentary makes a mid-September reveal very likely. For DJI, this would position the Mini 5 Pro ahead of the holiday season, giving enthusiasts ample time to adopt it before winter filming opportunities. The DJI Mini 5 Pro represents more than just an incremental update. It could be the moment the Mini series fully bridges the gap between ultralight drones and semi-professional models. By rumored specifications alone, it blends portability with flagship features, a 1-inch sensor, LiDAR-powered obstacle avoidance, extended flight endurance, and enhanced transmission range. In the end, the real question isn't whether the Mini 5 Pro will be good, it's how much it will reshape the landscape of compact drones. Can a drone weighing less than 249 grams truly rival larger models in both image quality and safety features? What are your thoughts on this? Share with us in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.